I'm Jason, and you're watching the Backroom Comics Podcast, and I'm here with uh, Danielle Corsetto of Girls with Slingshots, and The Adventures of Bat Boy on, with the Weekly Ooh, World News. You did your research. Yes, I did. So, uh, I guess we'll start off with, you know, two girls, a bar, and a talking cactus is how the strip started. Right. How much has the strip developed from that point? Because that was a pretty easy jumping off point, a very small character base, and it's really exploded. That's a good point. Yeah, I started forgetting which characters are which now. Um, people are actually coming up and mentioning characters, and I'm like, did I write that one? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess because everything is so character based and so not plot based, uh, at least initially, um, every time that I add in a new character, I get a lot of people who are saying, oh, I really like that character, you should do more with it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I should. So I feel like I've really gotten away from. I mean, we haven't seen McPedro in right. I was like about to ask two hundred strips yeah, or something. Like, and I was wondering about the development of the characters in that you know if Hazel isn't getting as drunk as she used to <laughs> as she gets older, then he has no reason to show up. This is a good point. Um, I don't know. I like to think in my heart of hearts that Hazel continues to get as drunk as she always did. Ah, but it's just uh, off camera. It's off just panel. off. Exactly. Exactly. It's off panel. Although I mean, we still do see her getting you know maybe not trash, but she always has a bottle in her hand. Right. Because I think the latest appearance, like the last time I saw him, he was just harassing the cat. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Which is, you know, good enough in it in its own way. And it, you're now up to about strip 850. Are you going to hit yeah. that next week? Uh, actually, 900 is going to be next 900. week. 900? Yeah. Okay, so. there we go. And so I know, it, literally, I've, I was going back through doing some research. And I found an interview a couple years ago. You said you were thinking about maybe you'd take a break around strip 1,000. Oh, did the I time. say that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not going to happen. No. <laughs> I say a lot of things. Oh, fair enough. Uh, luckily, that one's not true. Okay. And it, well, I mean, because of that, do you have other projects that you wanted to get going that you maybe thought about, and then suddenly the strip just takes over your life in such a way? <laughs> yeah, that actually has happened. Um, I've actually had to hire an, an assistant in the past year um, who's been wonderful. Okay. Um, but, you know, she's been taking care of most of the back end, but I mean, it's still, uh, you know, I'm still making most of the, the head decisions. And, and so it's almost like a little bit of a partnership. Um, I want all that stuff to just be given away to somebody else. So actually, I've got another company I have in mind that's going to take care of um, the back end, the, all the business and everything, which means okay. it'll free me up to do more creative uh, whatevers. Creative whatevers. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, because I know that, because you had that brief deal with the publishing company at one time in merchandising, and that didn't work out oh, not so well. You really did your homework. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't work out so well. Well, because I noticed, because I saw you were self-publishing, and then I saw the interview where you mentioned this deal, and I'm like, wait, what happened yeah. there? So I had to go back and figure out so I could ask the right question. Yeah. But I noticed that for since it's like uh, Dark Horse for the last year or two has started publishing a lot of web comics, right, like right. doing a really official treatment. And I was wondering, is that something you're, like, how you've seen that? Actually, going to be a, um, for me at least, it's going to be a company that's closer to web comics. It's not okay. uh, as much involved with. Um, in fact, they're almost entire. They are entirely web comics. Okay. So they'll be. That'll be. That'll be released pretty soon anyway. But just before okay. I sign the contract, I guess I shouldn't say anything. That's I've, fair. I've learned. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, because of that, and I really trust these people. They're going to do a really good job. I'm, okay. I'm sure of it. Uh, we've, we've redesigned the entire website, and we'll finally have an RSS feed uh, for all of you who have been asking about that. Um, and actually, it should be launched by the end of the month if I can get my shit together. So, okay. am I allowed to cuss on this? Yeah, go for it. Okay. It's not gratuitous, <laughs> but you know, we try. I won't be too awful. Yeah. Um, it happens. I won't uh, make my mother blush. That's the goal. There you go. Always. Um, so, are you going to try to reissue the books as they are now, or are you just, you know, going um, forward? How we're kind of uh, weaning off the self-publishing. Uh, the next book will come out in uh, August, I think, actually, okay. hopefully, right. uh, because it should be strip number 1,000. You know, we, we collect okay. them in every 200, so. All right. Um, so, book five coming up. Book five will be out in August, I think. Um, I should be self-publishing that one, but only the first 1,000. Uh, as it is, I have so many of these books. I mean, I'm sold out right now, which is crazy. I mean, of, of book one, and I have like one left of volume three. They, they're selling a lot faster than I thought they would, which is great. Yeah. However, um, I didn't realize, because Jesse has been going into the garage and picking out the books for me, I didn't realize that we have like, you know, 10 boxes left of oh, book three, right. book four. Um, so I'm going to have this new company uh, republish the the old ones and, okay. and take care of that. So we'll be able to find them, and uh, it'll also be, you know, available through Diamond. So they won't be hidden in just the website and, you know, very few conventions or whatever. Okay, great. So. I guess just sort of a general question I want to ask, because I know, you know, this started out as hazelnuts. Uh, oh. You did your college strip. You start this up again. You know all you, about me. <laughs> um, 
how you know how have you seen the industry change or how web comics are viewed and how they're treated at the cons and all that you know? there I mean I guess it's kind of you're, you're kind of you know what the answer is but it's been it is being treated a lot um, more seriously because we're starting to get larger followings we're starting to bring more people to conventions um, last year a few of us were asked to we're actually flown out to do a sign in in um, Austin that's the first time I think any of us have had that experience as like a group of web comics creators and um, it really was a huge amount of people that came out um, so yeah I mean things have been improving it's been you know taken a little bit more seriously um, I mean additionally there are a lot more of us out there but there are still a very small amount of us who are making a full-time living at it right because you've been doing this what, about, like, five full-time years. job for five years um, or is it full-time for three years I think all right but that really not great but pays the still, bills yeah, enough that, yeah. You know, that you can you know go to cons you can do your work oh, at home. Yeah. you don't have to have another job that takes away from it I mean in fact I mean it's it's uh, supporting both myself and my assistant now so it's it's actually done pretty well okay. it's really ballooned in the past couple right. of months um, I don't know if I, I didn't I was not able to research this properly so I had no question chance um, the IDW just did a bat boy mini I saw series. that I didn't know yeah. about that until recently you didn't know that at all I know oh, so well, it's, I mean it's not my character so they're right. obviously so they can do whatever they want. Right. I just wasn't sure if they tried to tie it into anything you'd done uh, I, the only thing I'm bummed about with that um, is that I've been trying to contact the editor so I can see if I can get the strips because I am pretty proud of that work um, sure. you know it's relying on a character that can only say e <laughs> and uh, it was it was really um, challenging for me to be able to write the strip so I'm really proud of the work um, but I, I never hear back from the editor so and it's their character I can't do anything with it unless they tell me to so yeah, sure. so unfortunately I don't know if that'll ever be collected it's okay um, well but right. it is cool they have, yeah, I haven't yeah. checked out the, the comic yet the new okay. one um, I guess as a trustor or general is there are there any other projects you want to talk about anything else you do oh, or is it you, like this is sorry you asked that earlier I didn't answer it oh no I, it's not <laughs> You're like oh no I just <laughs> hated you the entire time this interview has been going um, actually yeah because the uh, Maybe I was trying to say that. I'm sick, by the way, so my head's just been... I signed a book to myself earlier. Awesome. Like, I feel really wow. stupid today, so... You just claim it was not, you're I'm signing it. Autograph. Yeah, it, exactly. That's it. For Dinya. <laughs> put a name up there somewhere um, but yeah the uh, having another company take over all the business stuff means I don't have to focus on that as much and I can start creating on other or doing other creative I did say that earlier yeah. Uh, but yeah but I mean I was just if you wanted to share anything that you had pla already planned in the like in the works um, like characters you had in the back of your mind for a long time that you wanted to sort of do something you know, new I haven't actually um, it's funny the the newest project I want to do this year um, hopefully I don't even have anything in, in mind yet I just know that it wants to I wanted to be careful based if I can if I can do that uh, that's it okay. uh, more females I mean it'll still be right. you know curvy ladies and yeah. that's just how I how I roll and they're balding paramours <laughs> yeah sometimes yeah. so all right well. um, the graphic novel that I'm working on uh, that I've been researching for the past year uh, will be hopefully done by 2013 so oh, all right there so, yeah so you go. got a long-term one in the work yeah all right I'm trying to be yeah. realistic about the, the okay. deadline that's fair. all right well thanks a lot for I really Thank appreciate you. sitting down thanks for the so. question Questions.